Hey there, folks. Welcome back to day four of the 30 Days of Banjo. What you just heard is what we're going to learn today. This is a little bit similar to the pinching pattern, but instead of playing the two outside strings at the same time, we're going to play them one at a time. So instead of this, we're going to play this. So you play your normal first note. That's the third string with the index finger. Then play the fifth string with the thumb then the first string with your middle finger. Then you can repeat it like this. You'll notice that it kind of takes up the same amount of time as the pinching pattern. It just has a little bit more rhythmic interest. You can compare them like this. And I think it's a really useful thing to look at these as basically serving the same purpose, just sounding a little different. You could think about them as taking the same amount of time or accomplishing the same goal musically, just with slightly different aesthetic values. So we're gonna practice them the same way. We're gonna play this first example like this. Then we're gonna do the same thing, but our individual note is gonna be the fourth string with the thumb. Then we're going to do the same thing with the second string. Then we're going to combine them. And what you might have noticed in the tablature for this example is that we have a new type of note. We have these two notes here which seem to be connected by a line at the bottom. These notes are called eighth notes. We had half notes that take up half a measure, quarter notes that take up a quarter of the measure. These are eighth notes. They take up one eighth of the measure. You can also think of it as there are eight eighth notes in each measure. And the way that we count these is to say the number like one or two or three or four, second eighth note would be and. So if it was all eighth notes, it would be one and two and three and four and. So if I want to count this first example, I would count it like this. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. And as you practice this example, it might be helpful to count that along with it because the more comfortable you get counting these examples, the easier it's going to be to read this tablature and have a mental image of what exactly it is that you're listening to. Now, here's something to keep in mind with all of this. If you can keep up with everything that we do from day one to day 30, that's great. But if you can't, that's also fine. This is not a perfect system where everybody can play along with everything that I teach at exactly the rate that I teach it. For some people, these lessons are gonna be really easy and really basic. And for some people, they're gonna be much more challenging. And it doesn't really matter where on that spectrum you fall, just as long as you're being honest with yourself about it. So this might take you 30 days, or if you need extra days to learn any of this material, then just take that time. Maybe we're on day 15 and you need a couple days before you go to day 16, that's completely fine. In fact, I recommend it if that's what you need. If you need that and you don't take that extra time, then you're really gonna regret it when you can't keep up with future lessons. So maybe this takes 30 days, maybe it takes 60 days, maybe it takes you 15 days. It doesn't really matter as long as you're honest about how much you can really handle at a time. So just like a couple days ago, we had some new material, just sit with that material. Practice those patterns on their own until they're comfortable. But as review, you want to continue to practice the pinching pattern version of Boy That Cabbage Down that we looked at yesterday. And it's possible that you can see where we're going with all this, but for right now, just stick with things that are simple and easy so that you'll be good at them, then you'll be ready to move on tomorrow. Also, if you don't mind, do me a favor and subscribe to this channel and like this video. That's a huge thing that you can do to help me make more of these videos. So if you do that, I really appreciate it. Anyway, that's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow.